Well, for the Orioles, they'd hope they might be able to get a series win up here, but August Pack was too good. Their their starter and the Orioles for the first time in about 60. Five games, I think, now couldn't find an extra base hit in this one. Yeah, he was keeping them off balance. Uh, the high fastball, mixing up really all his pitches and, and keeping them off balance. Take a look. He's a big kid as well, so his uh, release points a little bit further out. I think that surprised some of the Oriole hitters. I mean, it was a nice pitcher's duel all the way through. The Orioles' offense uh, just had a hard time really getting it going. Take a look at Wagus Pack's uh, line right here. Six strong innings, scattering the four hits, and all of them singles, which is kind of weird. 17 home runs hit in this series and the Orioles uh, picked up five the first game three yesterday and weren't able to uh, pick up an extra base hit tonight so it's just the way kind of it goes with the Oriole offense up and down but they have been swinging the bat pretty well here recently but and, not tonight and I think you want to remember that name I mean Toronto's got real high hopes for him he's kind of an under the radar guy but he looks strong he looks under control looks confident on the mound he's not young I mean, 26 years old so he's had some minor league experience but it just looks like he's a guy who could be number three maybe in a rotation. Yeah he's got that build that's for yeah. sure a big kid and you know all the trades they recently made at the deadline uh, they brought back a ton of young pitching so it's going to be interesting to see how the Blue Jays fare the next couple years with their rebuild of course uh, they can't waste too much time because the young group they have on the fields going to be a year older next year and we'll see what's going to happen in Boston Orioles get the day off tomorrow and then on against a Red Sox organization that is in a state of flux it'll be interesting to be there to hear the stories. Yeah there there are a ton of stories there and it's not just Dombrowski leaving and uh, it's about signing a new GM. It's about the players on their roster. J.D. Martinez has options right now. He might not even be a Red Sox next year. Mookie Betts contract is up. I mean there are a lot of issues going on in Red Sox nation. And New Orioles will hope to take advantage of that starting on Friday night. Tom and Rick.